Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Project Ozone 3, Kappa Mode. How are you guys doing today? How's life? Last episode I told you guys that we're not that far away from getting the Philosopher's Stone because we almost have everything and I even said that there is a high possibility that we would be able to get it this episode because the only things that we're missing is the Soul Crystal from Erebus which is easy to get, the Gas Queen Tears which is also easy to get and the Black Hole Talisman which requires a Gaia Spirit which is nothing. We do that on a daily basis. But someone left me a comment saying that you need to go to the last planet in Galactic Craft because you need green diamonds for making the ultimate crafting table anyway. Lul. And yes, unfortunately he's correct. We need green diamonds from Kepler-22b. And lul to you. I'm going to get it this episode. So considering that I did not get the plans for the next tier of rocket from the seventh planet, we need to visit there again. I should have probably checked if we have oxygen. Yes, okay, we're cool. Uh, I have my creative dungeon finder and we should be able to find it really fast. It is this one and it was not that far away. Cheese. Nice. Food. Nice. Creepers. Not so nice. Generally speaking, you don't even need to fight the mobs. You can just walk by and reach the boss. What are you? It's a giant ice slime was and we have the key as well as the schematics and we can go home so this is going to be tier 7 Ooh, we have crystal ingots right oh yeah we have plenty we're fine i think we have everything we're going to need in order to make the tier 7 rocket so this should be easy peasy rocket engine goes there and the cone goes on top and tier 7 rocket we are back at the seventh planet because i forgot my launch pad no <laughs> i didn't oh no i didn't okay Cool. I just wish if it would not break it every time that the rocket would lift off, but uh, I did not design it. How does it look? And this is why I always forget the shulker box, because I put it here in order to refuel the rocket. And then I forget to pick it up. We also need you and the quantum entangler porter. It's shaking a lot. <laughs> Doesn't look very safe. Yes, we can go to Neptune. That is good. Prepare for entry. Sure. I'm always prepared. Just don't drop me into something bad. Hold space to slow down. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We're slowing down. There's grass on Neptune. What? <laughs> oh, it's going to drop us in water again. It shouldn't be water. It's like methane. I don't know. It's not grass. Look at the sun. It's so nice. We should live on one of these planets. So you are bound to Neptune and you go over there. So let's take these guys out as well and go and find the dungeon. Actually, we should not find the dungeon first. We are looking for zinc. That is tin. That is copper. Are you zinc? Blue gem. Oh, oh yes, zinc. I dropped it. So on this beautiful planet, we're looking for blue gem and zinc. And now we can go and find the dungeon. Liquid Nitrogen. Huh. And here is the dungeon. The problem with this sword is that it's actually not a sword. So it cannot break cobwebs. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at this guy. Evolved snowman. Yes, you look very evolved. Where's the key? Yes. Tier 8 rocket. It's called radioactive water. So it was water. Not the correct one, but you know. I was trying to see why do we need the blue gem, and it seems in order to make the chaos catalyst, we need all the gems. So, <laughs> that's gonna take a while. So that enderman is wearing a mask. If I look at him, will he see me? Yes. And he dropped in water. Yeah, I'm guessing that's plenty. We don't need that much. Because we're dabbling it anyway. And Neptune goes here. The tier 8 rocket looks very weird. But it's easy to craft, because it's just compressed zinc. There's also a processing upgrade from furnaces, which requires purple diamonds. And that is from Kepler-22b. Ah, we're going there, okay. Because I think it will double the output of these furnaces. Not just for ores, for everything. We have 14,000 zinc. I think it's an ore dictionary issue, we got it from sieving. I have four compressors, and all of them are full. Look, this is full, this is full, this is full. And that one should also be full. Oh, four slots, okay. They will be full very soon. It seems that in order to make the tier 9 rocket, which we need in order to go to Kepler planets, I think, <laughs> we are going to need tungsten. We already have tungsten from sieving, and that's an ore dictionary problem. But the thing is, we need the blueprint. So this is why we need the tier 8 in order to go to Pluto. I forgot something. Oh, yes, these two. The boosters. Tier 8 rocket. And our launch pad seems to be okay. For next one, we have to change it. Oh, and by the way, our padding is also okay. We can go to Pluto. 
I just checked. These big ones are really shaking. I can't find Pluto. Oh, it's over there. Okay, cool. It's such a small thing, taking one small step, we're going to majestically land on an next planet. I miss Pluto. And look at the sun. <laughs> oh, that's Neptune. You, you can see the hole. Yes, very welcoming. It's funny because the gravity seems to be very realistic. On Pluto, it's far less than Neptune. You can feel it. Did you lose your oxygen mask? Would you like one? I don't have one. Sorry. Since I'm not exactly sure, let us dig down a little bit so that we see if there is any gems or any other ores that we want. Tungsten we don't need. Okay, that's tungsten, which we don't need because we're getting it from sieving. And I do not see any crystals. Yeah, I think we don't have any business here. So let us just go and find the dungeon. I think there was something wrong with the compass because now it's telling me to go this way. Oh yeah, it's here. And the boss is a giant spaceman. Hello. And he doesn't move. I think he's dead. Tier 9 rocket. So we take everything back home. And I probably should not carry this on my head. And we just go. So there are a few points. First off, I forgot to set this guy to Pluto. And we need to go to Pluto to set this guy. Otherwise, he will feel left out. You know, he has been betrayed a lot. And then I want to see where else can we go. Actually, this is what I wanted to check. In order to go to Ares, we're going to need tier 9, which we can make. And that gives us the material we need in order to make tier 10. And then we should be able to go to Kepler 22. Cool. Houston, we have a problem. We're hitting our old drone. Oh, we're fine. I'm running low on space. Um, yeah, we put it here for now. At this point in the game, you would expect to use your brain a little bit. So far, it's just grinding. So we're also going to need tier 3 launch pad, which is so easy. <laughs> just to refresh your memory and mine, this is a tier 9 rocket. We're going to go to Ares with this, because in order to go to Kepler 22, we're going to need a tier 10 rocket, which requires dark iron, which spawns on Ares. And I also checked. Our padding is okay. Oh, I did not bring these locators. It's okay. We can craft them. Taking one giant leap. I would say Ares is smaller than Pluto. So, okay, okay. Slow down, slow down. I'm slowing down. So, on Ares, they do not have a sun. Oh, they do. It's just, oh, that's the sun. That should be Pluto. I love that sun. And let us start digging so that we would be able to harvest that dark iron. Your dark iron. Yes. As usual, we're mining dark iron and we need to find a dungeon. I'm so happy that after this, we don't have to go dungeon hunting anymore. This is literally our last dungeon. And here is our boss. Okay. Why, why are you running away? Tier 10 schematics. We're done. Actually, now that we have the tier 10 rocket, we can start making a space station. Because it's fun. We don't have the rocket. I mean, we have the schematics. This rocket is going to take us to Kepler 22. And I'll be a happy person. Now this is a cool rocket. I like that. We're off to Kepler 22. At least I hope so. Because there is an electric rocket. But I don't know if we need that or not. But I guess we shall know soon enough. Yeah, we can't go there. <laughs> My goodness. Why? What do you need? Oh, we can go to Kepler 22b. I was clicking on Kepler itself. So we can go to the planet. Not the star. Because it's a stupid thing to do. You'll just burn. On a positive note, at least we don't need oxygen here. Because I don't see the bar. We are at Y level 500. So this could take a while. But they have trees. Our rocket also arrived in a chest. So we are fine. We're going to put you here. This is for home. This is for coming back here. And we're going to keep this one. And you are candy cane. Edible? No. This is such a crazy planet. Look, there's sheep. There's grass. There's water. There's cake everywhere. There's candy everywhere. There's liquid caramel. Can I swim in it? Okay, there are also hostile mob. I think we have found everything we need. This is green diamond ore. This is purple diamond, red diamond, and yellow diamond. Okay, we have the red, we have the purple, we have the yellow, we have the green. We need the blue, and that's blue. I have a really bad feeling about this planet. Do you know why? Because it's covered in candy, it's covered in cake, and it's daytime, so I'm wondering what is going to happen at nighttime. I thought biomes are going to represent the crystals which are available, but no. That was coal. This is diamond. That's gold. And this is iron. Something feels incredibly weird that the leaves are made of blocks of diamond, those are blocks of gold, and those are blocks of emerald. And I'm like, okay, we're fine. We just go home. And hopefully, 
This was the last planet. Jumping from planet to planet is over, but now we have our overworldian problems. So one of them is, I need to make a lot of seeds, and I need to tend, tend, tend them. Another problem that I discovered is that yes, we can make the ultimate crafting table because we found the green diamonds, but we cannot make the elite crafting table which requires infused diamonds, which requires dimensional shards, which requires laser drill. But I think we can make a laser drill. Yes, we can make the base and we have pink slime, so we're fine. I'm not gonna go fancy with this guy because I think the only thing we need is dimensional shards. I have an angel block. Cool. So I just gave him power and we give you a chest and it will be very slow, I think. Do I need to configure you? So this is our mana steel and this is our terror steel and both of them will grow when it is daytime. But I just wanted to check, did we get any dimensional shards? Yes, the chest is not working. Yes, we have two. We need much more, but uh, okay, I, I can wait. We have plenty of things to do. This might be something incredibly stupid, but I want to know, do you have a grinding ball? Yes, you do, because this should literally give me the best chances, I think. Seven. Actually, it's not the worst, because we need four of these, and we can make only one. <laughs> so it's bad. It's really bad. Also, I put some speed upgrades in the laser drills themselves, so this works slightly faster, but still, it's not the best. All right, guys, we have a slight situation. I was listening to my previous clips, and I realized I sound really grumpy. <laughs> I hate doing repetitive tasks and hopping from planet to planet is not the most entertaining thing to do. So I was thinking that instead of working on what we need for the Philosopher's Stone, I spent some time to clean up the platform and uh, I don't know, try to do something with our base. Clean up a little bit. That's basically what I want to do. That makes me happy. All right, guys, it's been the next day and I have been busy. I'm also trying to make a Celestial Crystal in order to make a Collector Crystal later on, but the platform is gone. Only the bonsai pots are remaining, which I will move very soon. And also, by the way, this chimney thingy, which we have over here is because we have a piece of bedrock and I could not remove it, obviously. So I'm trying to hide it. We have three presses from immersive engineering. One of them is for bullets. One of them is for plates and the other one for wires. I always make one for bullets and I never use it because I never use the guns, but maybe one day I will. <laughs> anyway, there was also a quest to gather every single block in order to make the diesel generator. And since I gathered all the blocks, I was like, let's assemble it anyway and use it to power the metal presses. It does function. It's hooked up to our refinery over there. Also, one of our minimis fell into the chimney and uh, he's gone. I also moved the blood altar over there and I'm still working on that island, but uh, we're almost done. I also moved everything from extended crafting, well, not everything, these guys, down here because they look weird and I don't like them that much. And we have 64 of these. And this is why we needed the metal presses because the only way that you can get black iron plate is through immersive engineering. And you see, it does work. And by the way, we need black iron in order to make these crafting tables. We need a lot of them. These guys are actually pretty fast. I have a lot of these guys and it also goes down. <laughs> I ran out, but uh, generally they can go faster, I guess. Anyhow, where do we stand? Well, we are going to need to make the ultimate crafting table first so that we can make the Philosopher's Stone. And in order to make this guy, we're going to need the elite crafting table, which right now we have everything except blocks of Dragonstone which should not be that difficult. Yeah, we just drop you and get Dragonstone. So an elite crafting table requires two advanced crafting tables and four basic ones. Okay, that's easy. It's going to require almost 2000 wood. If I'm not wrong, we should be able to make two of you and then we should be able to make one of you. Yes. Very cool. I'm very confused. Why aren't you a quest? Ah, I need to keep them in my hand. Okay. We are extremely lucky that we are not going to need two elite crafting tables in order to make one ultimate crafting table. We can just craft this guy and it should not be very difficult. So let me gather everything. I'll be right back. I think we have everything. Yes, we have the ultimate crafting table. Perfect. This is the recipe for the Philosopher's Stone and this is what we have right now. We need to collect the rest and it's not going to be very easy but let us start actually i forgot that we have a few more bits and pieces we can easily make this guy which i just made these two we already had 
and then the redstone thingies go here okay and the capacitor is also not going to be a problem because it just requires a recipe and we have a lot of these totems of undying so i just have to set pattern we also need four tier six mob chunks and they are incredibly expensive but if we get a tier five mob chunk which a wither skeleton drops it we should be fine i guess yeah because we can spawn wither skeletons i just have to turn that guy off and collect the chunks yeah we also need to cut you off so that you don't suck it in this is a very stupid idea but i think it's the best one i have there is like a 10 percent chance so this can take a while i got one so it does work the thing is we're going to save a lot of essence and we don't need that we put you back and i think it's fine so the thing is if we cook them we get these and we just need eight pieces of insanium very good we are getting closer i filled it in a little bit more with stuff that we had or stuff that were easy to craft but now let us try to get the soul crystals from erebus you guys have been telling me how and apparently i'm going to need something from mob crushing utilities called a mob swap that's very weird. I already marked some of the antline locations on the journey map, so this should be relatively easy. Yeah, this is the one I did not kill. I can't find the stupid pyramid. Where is it? Yeah, I'm guessing let's go to the other one because the previous one was very confusing. This is an open area. Oh yeah, it's over there. You know, I don't care if this is cheaty or not. We're going to replace all the blocks with dirt. And then we're going to break it. Hello. And I do admit that it was a very stupid decision to kill the first one. I should have just brought him back in a mob imprisonment too. But we all make stupid decisions in our lives, so it's fine. We don't have a decent armor, but at least the good part is we have tons of health. Who's hitting me? We have arrived, I already have a mob imprisonment tool and we're gonna take him home. Hello. Oh, you can't take him home. Why not? I thought you can. Do you have his DNA? How would I know if the... Oh, yeah, it has the DNA. Okay, it's fine. So, I can't take him home? Okay, it's blacklisted. Fine. Craft with a bucket of experience and seeds. Aha. Uh -huh. If I'm not wrong, I do have some drums under here. And we should be able to take the experience. Okay, we can. Cool. Yes, we do have a chicken. That is fine. Luckily, this thing was out of bullets. So, for the moment, my friend, you are the most important chicken I have. Eat. <laughs> what? Spawn antlion. Ah, that was easy. Since I'm not very sure how this thing is going to work, we're going to go to Abyssal Wastelands and we're gonna try it here. There's a cat. Whoops. It's a very friendly location. So I do have a spawner. We put you here and you're going to spawn skeletons apparently. And then I have to add you. Oh, come on. Oh, it worked! Yes! I think there was a way of upgrading these guys. But I don't remember that. Sugar? We have an antlion. Yes! Okay, we just need four soul stones. That's it. Now that we have the soul crystals, we go for the gas tier. Because I think that's the only thing we need from another dimension. Then we can spend the rest of the time here. I went online to try and understand how the hell do you get the gas queen tears. I thought you just have to put a gas tear inside the urn. Apparently it's not. You just have to read this. There's a quest and it explains everything. We need a potion of sorrow. And the gas tier. So I was 50% correct. I also just checked and it seems that this is the only recipe we're going to require it for. So there is no point of making a spawner out of her, I guess. So let's see if it works first. Ah, okay. So now I add the gas tier and probably run. We're in her. And she's stuck. Good. Oh, I got it. So is there a chance or you get it every time because otherwise this is too easy. Yeah, I think it's every single time. I fought her four times, we got four and it goes there. We're getting really close. Oh and by the way, I also checked and in order to make a supremium ingot, we need to have all of these. And we need to have mana infused ingot from a wonderful mod called Lordcraft. I'm in the process of making that. I think we need only one stack. I was just checking the recipe and it seems apart from fighting the Guardian of Gaia, the rest is just crafting, so we don't need to do anything else. This would be a slight complication, but we have the draconic cores. I just have to make this, which is also just a bunch of crafting, which I can do. 
also matter balls but it's fine so i guess we have nothing else to do rather than fighting the guardian of gaia and i did make extra suit of armor and this is treaty armor from tinker's complement so you just make it with normal steel it's not from the armor progression so if we lose it it's fine i'm actually only waiting for blocks of iron to be prepared so that we can make a few beacons to give us some buffs oh and we can also make the witherless rose right you know since your brother died you move a lot. Well, the idea is that eventually I'm going to make an arena in order to have the Guardian of Gaia fight uh, on these islands. But the thing is, for now we just want a few pieces so that we can get the Philosopher's Stone. Later on, we have to fix this as well. So, you're going to give me strength, you're going to give me resistance and regeneration, and you're going to give me speed? I don't know. If I'm not wrong, this should be the altar. Let us find out. It's exactly the same thing. What did I do wrong? Oh. Okay. My bad. Technically, we have what we need because we need only two of these guys, but the thing is, I love the Guardian of Gaia fights too. So I'm going to have a few more fights and get the dice of fate, and then I'll be right back. Oh, that's not how you do it. This is how you do it. The thing is, he drops a lot of ruins, and crafting ruins in this mod pack is a huge pain because you need these things from an amazing mod. So I was just thinking maybe we can farm him for runes, <laughs> I don't know. But now that we have Gaia Spirits, I think we can claim this guy as well. We have everything, right? Oh, RAKs. Looting 50, Reaper 50, XP boost 50, knockback 5, Woohoo! 200 plus damage. Oh my goodness, I just set in the recipes for the Supremium ingots and I think we need 8 of them. Let's see what we are missing. This could take a while. Do you know what we are missing? Soul dust. Only 4 of them. And that's it. We have the rest. So we're fine. I think. We're also going to need to craft 2 sets of creative essence which requires 8 pieces of insanium as well as a little bit of supremium. Which is not going to be a problem because I'm going to use that wither thingy over there. I still have not made a wither skeleton farm, a wither farm for supremium but uh, I will make it next episode. We don't need it now because uh, that will take like 2 minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you our first Philosopher's Stone. Some of you guys were telling me that we need two of these guys because one of them is going to be consumed in making the transmutation table, which is fine, but uh, I can only afford one for now. And besides, it has EMC and it's 50,000, it's like half a nether star. But someone was also suggesting that we craft it because it's fun. Yeah, it is. I can do that again. Anyhow, until right now we rushed through the pack and we yoloed everything because I wanted the Philosopher's Stone but from now on we have to be more careful and we have to get more organized. For instance, that's not a way to farm Supremium. <laughs> we need a proper Supremium farm which we will do next episode. But uh, for now, I'm happy. Where's the Philosopher's Stone? Oh, I put it in the ME. <laughs> and just to let you know, this is our next goal. Energy Condenser Mark II. It's not a very complicated recipe. The only problem is the pink matter, which is really bad. <laughs> really bad. Oh, it's not that bad. What? Exactly. It's actually not that bad. We just need magenta matter and that's red matter. It, it is bad, but I mean, it's manageable. So we just need the Supremium Farm. We can get this very soon. Anyway guys, I think it's also a good time to wrap up the episode. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. Till the next one. Bye bye.